Candy is good. Gaming channel says a big example of a character saying they're going to win, but there's still tension is when Luffy was getting beat down by Cat holding the mirror. That's not the same thing. There's a difference between a sort of sense of determination, right? Because that happens all the time in One Piece, right? Like at any lobby, the start of it, they're always like, win even if you die, right? Luffy and um, Luffy and I think multiple ones of his fights. Katakuri is a great example. Luffy being like, I'm gonna win, right? But what is the tone of that moment? The tone is Luffy is getting absolutely wrecked, right? He's getting absolutely wrecked. He's getting beaten down. His face is bloody and everything like that. Everybody else is saying the odds are stacked against him, right? Jinbei's even thinking like, dude, I don't know if Luffy can win. Katakuri's a one billion berry bounty. Uh, the straw that's on the outside are, they nearly died from Big Mom and stuff like that, right? Um, the tone is very, very heavy. In that moment, it's Luffy putting out a sense of determination and drive and saying, against all odds, I'm going to win. But the framing of the entire thing is that the odds are against him right now. Go back to the Hyogro chapter, and it's the opposite. The Straw Hats and everyone, they're flooding in. The Beast Pirates and everyone, they're freaking out. They're like, what's going on? All the Samurai are victorious. They're happy. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's, like, overconfident. So it's where it's coming from, right? It's not just saying, I think we're going to win. Right? There's a difference between that and Hyogoro saying, I can't imagine us losing. Do you understand that? I can't imagine us losing. Right? So the easiest way I can draw a contrast is basically this. Right? So if we go to, because I think some people might still not get it. Again, in the actual video, maybe uh, I can uh, provide some more, um, uh, I guess, uh, uh, clear-cut examples of what I'm talking about here. But there's a chapter... Um, and I think it's a pretty good chapter. Uh, I think like, yeah, 891, 892. Yeah. So look at this, right? Look at this. I promised myself I wouldn't get too wrapped up in this, but look at this. All right. So Here's an example of writing character believing in, the, in themselves, but with tension, right? So the way the fight is going, Luffy's down, right? He's getting beat up. He's getting wrecked, right? She's laughing on the side. Everybody's laughing on the side. They're talking about how unbeatable Katakuri is. And the entire chapter is just Luffy getting wrecked over and over, bloody, beaten. And Katakuri's asking, why doesn't Luffy give up, right? Because the narrative, everything's showing that Luffy is outmatched. They can't win. The odds are against them. Yet why isn't Luffy giving up, right? Despite all of that, right? He's trying to get up, he gets knocked down. He tries to get up, he gets knocked down again. He's in pain, he's clearly outmatched, right? Katakuri's talking, he's like, you tried to do this, you couldn't. You tried to do that, you couldn't. You tried to do that, you couldn't. The result is, you're a useless fool who feels nothing but frustration. That's what Luffy feels in this, right? He feels frustrated, right? He can't do anything, he's yelling, right? So why isn't he giving up? Why isn't he giving up, right? He's not giving up because his crew believes in him, right? They think I'll beat you and appear in the mirror because they believe in me. That is dramatic writing, right? That is dramatic writing. When all the odds are against the main character, when the main character is getting crushed, beaten, he's frustrated, he's helpless, he doesn't know what to do, but he's saying, I'm going to find a way because my crew believes in me. Do you know how wildly different it is? Tell me the chapter number for Hyogoro. Someone tell me the chapter number for Hyogoro. Let's pull that up. Let's pull that up. Do you, because if you don't understand the difference between this and that, then there's nothing for me to say. There's no way to explain what tension in storytelling or drama in storytelling means, right? Tell me the chapter for Hyogoro. Tell me the chapter for Hyogoro. I think it's probably, if I had to guess, 991 or something like that. Right? 989. Let's look at Hyogoro, right? Because it's possible you guys still may not understand. Everyone's happy. Everyone's in a good mood. It's the Beast Pirates. You strats just keep popping up one after another. They're the one. <laughs> the strats are the ones who are, like, the strats are fucking up their shit, right? They're fucking rolling Big Mom away in this chapter. This is the chapter Big Mom gets big meme. Do you guys remember this shit? They're laughing. They're happy. <laughs> they're in such a good mood. It's docking time. It's a fucking joke. It's a fucking clown show. Where's your gross quote? But strangely enough, I can't imagine losing. And they're saying this as, in the background, what's happening. They're fucking docking. One of the numbers is going on in the background. It's, it's just such a... Do you, do you not understand? Do you not understand the drastic difference between this and this? 
it's the Straw Hat crew. It's all, it's, it's, it's just, there's never a point in this narrative arc of Wano that it is ever in doubt among the Alliance and among the Straw Hats. There's never a sense of doubt that is established that they're basically guaranteed to win here. It was so drastic and so in contrast to every other major One Piece arc, be that Annie's Lobby, be that Alabasta, be that Skypea, be that Dressrosa, that it almost seemed unbelievable. At least to me, because I just had faith in Oda that there would be some significant tension and his usual sense of drama and stuff over the course of the arc. It never came. It was a different type of arc. That's fine. But, you know, to say that it's the same thing, just because Luffy says, I'm believing in myself in one fight versus what Yogura says in that fight, it's crazy. 